What's up guys? Welcome to the 39 Xamarin Answer tutorial. So in this video, we're going to be doing something simple and quick. I'm going to be demonstrating how to get your SHA-1 password for a debugging app, okay? So uh, I've already done this one time and I kind of looking ahead in the future and I'm probably going to do it a few more times. And if I did that, I'd be boring you and you're going to already know how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm making a dedicated video to this subject and that way we can just look back on this whenever you need a heads up or for anyone that just needs to know how to do it here's a video demonstrating of how to get your SHA-1 debugging key store password okay so the first thing that we need to do guys is open up your your file explorer and you want to go into your C drive the users folder and this is where Xamarin will, will locally will de default to store your debug.keystore okay so you want to get into the app data folder, which is actually hidden by default. Okay. So if this isn't checked, you're not going to see it. Okay. So more than likely you're going to need to get it to check hidden folders to show them. Okay. So once you do that, whether it's in windows seven or eight or Mac, once you do that, go into here and go into your local folder and then come down to Xamarin and mono for Android. Okay. So here is the guy that we need. This is the important one. Okay. So, what you want to do is right click it and copy. Okay. And I'll show you why here in a second. So once you have it copied, open up a new instance of the file explorer and go back into your C drive and you want to go to wherever your JDK, your Java JDK is installed. Okay. So mine, and this is by default. So most of you guys will be in this location is C program Java JDK bin. Okay. So go wherever that is located in your, on your computer. And this is the directory that we need to be in. Okay. So on Windows, if you hold shift while right clicking, it'll give you an option to open the commando, command window here, which opens in this directory, okay? So you don't have to do a whole bunch of CD and all that stuff, okay? So it'll open up here. Now what we need to do is we need to, to first copy over or paste over what we copied, okay? Which is the debug.keystore file. So we don't need to do this. We could just give it a directory like where it's actually at. But I'm being lazy and I'm just going to copy it over, run it, and then I'll just delete it from here, okay? So just a little, just makes it a little simpler. So let's, okay, go ahead and open up your command window. And you're going to want to run the key tool executable and do dash list v and then key store, the name of the file, which we're going to want to open up, which is the debug.keystore. And then specify an alias Android debug key and then finally store pass and this is going to be by default it's Android so it's probably Android for you all lowercase okay and once that's done it will give us a, a little bit of information okay and the one that we're going to look be looking for is the SHA-1 okay so this is the entire password that we would need to get whenever we're required to give it to like a to get authorization for Google, which is mainly the, use, the, the reasons why we need it, or any other reasons, of course, as well, okay? So if you never need this, this is where it's gonna be, okay? And notice that it does expire, so the certificate will expire every every so often, so make sure that when it's the debug version, because if it's just debugging, it will expire, okay? So make sure this isn't, that you know that this isn't permanent, but whenever you need to, to update it or anything like that, this is how you would get it, okay? So now you can just, you know, right click, edit, mark, and then come into here and then highlight it, enter. That'll copy it and then paste it wherever you need to, to paste it out, okay? So once you're done with that, then you can go ahead and delete this file, which is just gonna be, which was just a temporary file. So delete it from the Java folder because it's still gonna be inside of this folder right here. Okay, guys? So that is gonna be the uh, basically the end of this video like i said it wasn't going to be too long but now you guys can come back and look if you guys need to like reference how to get your your sha1 password using the debug.keystore file okay so there it is thanks guys for watching